guys, it's Tara and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So if you are like everyone right now, you are doing whatever you can to boost your immune system. One of my favorite things to make during either winter season or cold and flu season is a really good hearty beet soup. Beets are extremely warming for their body. Um, anything that is really um, grown underground like potatoes, onions, anything like that is really warming and stimulating for the body. And as we know right now, we got to do whatever it takes to keep our bodies warm because things that we put into our body or things that we do for our body that keeps it warm will kill the viruses. And that's what we want to do. So without further ado, let's get right into it and let me show you how to make this amazing immune boosting and a little spicy with ginger that I'm going to be using a lot of um, soup that will totally make you feel so good. So I hope you enjoy and please guys stay safe, stay inside, do what you can to stop the spread of this crazy virus that all of us are really on edge about. Um, do your part nourish your body take care of your body don't be putting junk food into your body right now try not to drink so much alcohol try not to um, overstimulate with yourself with things that are just going to bring down your immune system we really need to keep our immune system healthy and strong in times like this so let's get right into it and let me show you how to make this amazing soup all right guys, so let me show you the ingredients that I have prepped for this recipe. So I have one large onion that I have chopped up. I have two tablespoons of fresh ginger that I've chopped up. Uh, about maybe like five to eight cloves of minced garlic. I have salt and pepper, that's some kosher salts, kosher sea salt. I have two tablespoons of turmeric two tablespoons of fresh thyme leaves. If you don't have fresh thyme leaves, you can always use one tablespoon of dried thyme leaves. Um, also have some avocado oil here. I have four beets that I have cut up and peeled and I've made into one inch pieces. And also I have two large potatoes that I have peeled and chopped. Um, and they are both, the, these two, the beets and the potatoes are both in um, one inch cubes. Don't really care, um, don't really pay attention too much on um, the shape or form of everything because in the end we're just going to puree everything together and make it into a creamy hearty soup. All right guys so now that I went over the ingredients with you let me show you how we're going to put this all together. So first we're going to turn on our stove to a high heat. All right I have my avocado oil here. Oh, put a memento. All right Sorry about that. Um, I have my avocado oil here. I'm gonna use about two tablespoons of avocado, avocado oil. And I'm gonna wash that first. All right, let that heat up. Oh, the reason why I like to use avocado oil is because olive oil, when it gets to high heat, um, starts to be rancid. So you don't wanna use that when you're using any kind of high heat kind of recipes. You really wanna to stick to um, either coconut oil or avocado oil. Those really have a high heat content to them. Olive oil is great for dressings or anything fresh that you're just going to pour on top. That way you're not losing any of its um, healing uh, qualities. So anyways, on that note, we have our avocado oil here that's heated up. I'm going to add my onion. I'm going to give that all a good stir. And after a couple minutes of sauteing your onion, like so you're going to add um, your ginger, like that, and your garlic. Give so that all a good stir and let that saute for about three to five minutes. 
And now that we have our potatoes and beets all in there, we're going to add our salt and pepper, our turmeric, and our thyme. We're going to give that all a good stir. Okay, and now that we have all of our spices incorporated with our beets and potatoes, we're going to add four cups of water. And also four cups of chicken broth, or if you don't have chicken, uh, chicken broth, you can use vegetable broth, whatever you prefer. And if you don't have either, just use four cups of regular water. We're going to give this all a good stir again. And then once it comes up to a boil, we're going to lower the heat and let it simmer for about 45 minutes. Okay guys, so as you can see, everything has come up to a nice boil. We're gonna give everything a nice stir like so. And then we're going to bring the heat down to a medium to medium low. Just give it a good stir again. It smells amazing. And cover that and let that cook for about um, 30 to 45 minutes, depending on your stove and everything. So I'm gonna let this cook for about 40 minutes. All right guys, so it's been about 45 minutes. I just turned off the stove. As you can see, everything is nice and cooked through. You wanna make sure that it's all easily pierceable like that. And now I'll show you what we're going to do with the next step. All right guys, so our beet soup is done. It's nice and steamy and hot. I'm going to now put it carefully into our blender and blend everything up. So really, um, really carefully, we're going to pour a little by little. Also make sure you have a cloth down because this does have beets, so it will stain. So you wanna make sure um, that you avoid staining your counters. So we have our first little batch here. What we're going to do is uh, put the lid on like so. I have this little um, uh, area up here open for it to vent. And then we're going to slowly start blending. Oh, there we go. guys so our soup has now been blended there for now we're gonna give it a little taste test it's perfect and this is also a really good time to add a little bit more salt or pepper whatever else you need in order to season it and make it uh, taste really good but the consistency is beautiful I love the taste of the ginger just popping through, which gives it this really great spiciness. Delicious. So now we're gonna serve it up. I have a little bowl here. I'm going to pour that in there like this, a little serving bowl. And then, we're gonna take some, uh, some fresh thyme, sprinkle that on there. And a little bit of black pepper. 
And then we are going to finish it off with a little bit of olive oil drizzled on top like that and we are all done. So that is pretty much it guys. I actually would love to put like a dollop of non-dairy um, yogurt on top like an uh, like almond dairy free yogurt or a cashew dairy free yogurt but they didn't have any in the store today. So um, we're gonna get what we can get right so just I'm improvising I'm not using it today but a little bit of yogurt is fantastic on it you can also use real Greek yogurt that's all good too so on that note this is going to be our dinner tonight the remainder of the amount I'm going to keep blending like this and I'm gonna pour into uh, mason jars like this I'm gonna fill up the remainder of my mason jars and these freeze really great and they store for a long time in the freezer. So um, pour them in mason jars, let them cool, seal them up and knock them in the freezer. It'll be really great. So thank you guys so much for watching today. I really hope you guys enjoy this recipe. It's one of my favorites to make me feel really, really good. Um, and yeah, that's about it. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay inside, stay warm, take care of yourselves. Please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also give this video a big thumbs up and I'll keep posting these immune boosting recipes for you guys. Have a great day guys. Take care. Bye.